Happy Flex Friday to all my prize picks family out there. My name's CJ, and I've got six MLB picks that are all plus EV plays and projecting favorably. So if you want to see what I'm into, stick around and hit the subscribe button. Hit that like button. Make sure you turn on those notifications because value and lines on prize picks are always moving. And I want to make sure that you get the goods as soon as I drop them. All right. Today is Flex Friday. So we're going to have to see what the prize picks promo is looking like today. But if you're not playing on prize picks yet, guys, I encourage you to go get signed up for prize picks. If you're into playing daily fantasy sports, if you're into playing player props. Prize Picks is the place to be up to a 100% instant deposit match when you deposit for the very first time. Use code Curry. They're going to match you dollar for dollar all the way up to $100. All right. Without further ado, let's get into today's picks because as I mentioned, Prize Picks is always changing the game on us. So we got to go ahead and get our picks in ASAP before lines start to move. So the first one that I'm looking at here is going to be Patrick Sandoval, Patrick Sandoval of the Los Angeles Angels. We're going to see if Sandoval is a plus EV play using the Daily Grind Fantasy Optimizer. You guys have seen me use this in plenty of videos in the past. No need to beat a dead horse, so to speak. But what I will say is that this optimizer is fantastic when it comes to finding the value before prize picks moves the lines up or moves the lines down. So if you're into that, you want to jump on the best picks and the best plays before the value gets sucked out of it, well, you're going to want to use this tool. So head down to the description of today's video. I've left a coupon for $5 off your first month of the Daily Grind Fantasy Optimizer. Click the link, get started, start using it today. So Patrick Sandoval at five strikeouts, the under looking like the optimal way to go here, giving us about a 53% chance that he records five or less strikeouts. So let's go take a look at a projection here. We're going to be using the bat by Derek Cardi. This tool has been fantastic all season long. The most accurate MLB projection model for three years and running. You can find it on Roto Grinders. You can find it on EV Analytics. Go check out the bat if you're into MLB and you want the very best projections. 4.2 projected strikeouts for Patrick Sandoval today as he takes on the Boston Red Sox. So 4.2, the line set at five. The under would look like the reasonable way to go here on Patrick Sandoval at five strikeouts. Moving it down to another strikeout prop, Luis Garcia of the Houston Astros taking on the Texas Rangers. We got a little battle here between two of the Texas baseball teams, right? He's at five and a half strikeouts. Let's head back to the optimizer real quick. See which way is the best way to go here when it comes to Garcia and this strikeout prop of 5.5. Take a look at the optimizer here, guys. The over looking like the optimal way to go based on the odds on your sports books, comparing them to the lines on prize picks. We've got about a 52.7% chance, nearly 53% chance that it records at least six Ks today, according to those odds. So let's head back over. Let's get you a projection here on Mr. Garcia. I've got him projected for a big 6.4K projection on a line of five. Point five. So this is looking like a very favorable overplay. So we're going to click more on Garcia and head on down here and take a look at Jake Woodford of the St. Louis Cardinals. He's going to be taking on the Pittsburgh Pirates tonight. Guys, his line is just three strikeouts. Pretty manageable number for a starting major league pitcher, as long as he's not totally crap, right? If he's a complete dog turd, well then, you know, he maybe maybe he doesn't get three strikeouts. But let's go take a look here. We're going to go back to the optimizer and see if Jake Woodford's looking like a good move tonight. And if he is, over or under, that's always the question, right? Uh, looks like at three strikeouts, over is the way to go here. 52.1% chance of him recording at least three Ks or more based on the odds, again, that we're finding on your favorite sports book. So we got to go back and get a projection here on Mr. Jake Woodford. I got him projected for 3.86 strikeouts, according to the projection models here on the bat. So 3.8 on a line of three. Sounds like three or more is a good look here for Mr. Jake Woodford. Moving it down here to Sean Manaya now with the San Francisco Giants. Taking on the Detroit Tigers tonight. He's at five strikeouts. Which way should we be going here on the throw-in Samoan? Sean Manaya. Well, let's go take a look here. And uh, real simple stuff, guys. You don't have to uh, overcomplicate your research to find winning picks and plays. Prize Picks has him at five. The optimizer saying that the best way to go here is the over at a 53.5% chance that he records at least five Ks, maybe even more. So now that we know that it is a 
positive expected value play plus EV play. We go back and we find ourselves a projection here on Sean Manaye. Now his his projections 5.74 strikeouts on a line of just 5Ks. So it looks like five or better could be a good move here for Sean Manaya. So we're gonna take the more on him. And we're going to get down to our final two plays. Guys, if you like what I'm doing here, definitely let me know about it by A, being a subscriber, turning on those notifications, and B, slapping that like button. It tells me that you want to see more of this content. It tells YouTube that you like the content that I'm putting down for you. So make sure you do those two things. And if you're feeling so inclined, drop a comment below. Let me know what your favorite pick of, of today's video is going to be. All right. Drew Rasmussen of the Tampa Bay Rays. Shout out to my Tampa Bay Rays. I was at the game yesterday. What an exciting fifth inning that was against the Boston Red Sox. We completed the sweep and remain undefeated. Let's see if Drew Rasmussen's in for a good night tonight against the Toronto Blue Jays. He's at 5Ks. We're going to head back to the Daily Grind Fantasy Optimizer here. You just punch in Drew's first name or his last name. It'll find it either way. At 5Ks, it looks like the optimal move here would be taking the under 53.49%, 53.5% chance that he records five or less strikeouts. Now let's go take a look at a projection. Back to the bat we go. We punch in Drew's name. We'll go over to the strikeout category, guys, and you see he's projected for 4.52. Now that's closer to five than it is four, so maybe there's a tie or a push scenario in our future here. Maybe he lands on exactly five strikeouts, but nonetheless, 4.52 on the line of five. It looks like five or less is the way to go here on Drew Rasmussen. Which brings us to our final play. We're going to switch categories here. We're going to jump over to uh, Mike Clevenger and his 2.5 earned runs allowed. He's taking on the Baltimore Orioles tonight at 7.10 p.m. Eastern time. So let's look at Mike Clevenger here. We'll go back to the optimizer, punch his name in. First or last, like I said, not, not very complicated stuff here. You just punch it into the optimizer. Again, if you want to try this optimizer out for yourself, I highly suggest it's changed the way that I play on prize picks. Go down to the description of today's video, scroll all the way down to the bottom, click that link, get started. Make sure you use code Curry, like I said, to save yourself some money. And uh, you can go ahead and take the optimizer for a spin yourself. Anyway, Mike Clevenger at two and a half earn runs allowed. The optimal way to go, almost a 53% chance that he goes over. 2.5 earned runs allowed. So I think that's the way we should be looking to go here as well. Let's back this up with a projection and see if we've got one that's a favorable projection. We'll head on over here to the ER category of the bat. And you see he's projected for at least three earned runs allowed tonight. Again, going up against the Baltimore Orioles, who have swung a pretty good bat this season, nonetheless. But uh, going back here, completing this, by clicking the more on Mike Clevenger, we now have our six picks in. Feel free to take just one of these, two of these, three of these, or you could take all six like I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and throw 20 bucks on it. It is Flex Friday. I'm not sure what the promo is for Flex Friday just yet, but it is after 1030 a.m. Eastern time. So whatever the case may be, I'm going to go ahead and uh, drop 20 on it for a chance to win 500 bucks. Good luck if you decide to follow. If you don't, that's okay too. Appreciate you all being here. Hit the like button on your way out or hit the dislike button. That's okay too. I'm just glad that you joined me. Good luck on all your entries. We'll see you at 12 p.m. Eastern time to talk some NBA prize picks live right here on this YouTube channel. Good luck.